Hi, this is Paul with BBP Admin uh, with a quick talk on health FSA and special limited COBRA coverage. First, health flexible uh, benefit accounts, HFSAs, are a type of tax advantage medical account that reimburses employees for eligible health care expenses and is a component of many employer-sponsored cafeteria plans. As a major medical plan, an employer subject to COBRA must offer COBRA coverage to qualified beneficiaries who lose their HFSA coverage as a, a result of a qualifying event, unless an exception applies. HFSAs, however, are not ordinary group health plans for purposes of COBRA. Given their special nature and the rules that govern them, those HFSAs that must offer COBRA coverage face some unique issues. For qualifying HFSAs, COBRA coverage must be offered to qualified beneficiaries who have underspent their accounts. The coverage, however, may be terminated at the end of the plan year in which the qualifying event occurred, and it confers no re-enrollment rights during the plan's open enrollment period. Despite this, any grace period that applies to HFSA participants will also apply to those who are receiving COBRA coverage under the HFSA at the end of the plan year. If the available benefit for the remainder of the plan year, after taking into consideration previous salary reductions, less claims submitted, for reimbursement prior to the date of the qualifying event exceeds the COBRA premium at the end of the qualifying event. The plan sponsor is obligated to offer COBRA. Carryover amounts in the case of health FSAs that provide a carryover are included to determine the available benefit. Qualifying health care expenses incurred by employees, their spouses, and dependents are eligible for non-taxable reimbursement under the health FSA. All such individuals are considered qualifying beneficiaries who have independent election rights. A qualifying event in connection with a change in employment status that is reduction in hours or termination of employment, as well as when a dependent loses eligible status, such as the event of a divorce or a child ceasing to be eligible dependent. Per IRS regulations, HFSAs will qualify for special limited COBRA obligation only if the HFSA provides accepted benefits and COBRA premium under the FSA meet certain minimums. Benefits provided under the HFSA are accepted for class participants. If the HFSA satisfies three conditions, one's a maximum benefit condition, two, the availability condition, and three, COBRA premium conditions. If you'd like to learn more about these three conditions or would like BBP admin to manage your client's COBRA obligations, contact me and we can schedule a meeting. This is Paul with BBP Admin. My contact information will follow. Thank you for your time.